Doodle bud! No, we're not cooking meth, I swear. We're gonna do a little DIY home science experiment. We are going to anodize this slick looking titanium pen. So this will be something that pretty much anyone can do. Doesn't have to be just if you are a fountain pen enthusiast like I am. If you are into knives or jewelry or anything titanium and you wanna try to make it look cool with some fancy colors, this is uh, gonna be a setup. I've never done this, gonna give this a try. We'll find out together if this works. Just a few things you need to pick up, one kind of specialty item, but other than that, you probably got most of this stuff at home. We're gonna do sort of like the lowest low end minimum effort supplies you need in order to pull this off. And uh, let's see how this turns out. I'm excited to try. Start off with a few things you need. Obviously, first thing you need something made of titanium, in this case, a fountain pen. You're gonna need a little bit of glove action for some safety, uh, some containers filled with distilled water. That's, you know, it's cheap, but you wanna use distilled water. Uh, a little bit of tape will come in handy, some wire. If you have the little alligator clip dealies, that's a big bonus. A bunch of nine volt batteries. I picked up 12. We wanna get somewhere around 100 volts together. A little baking soda, probably some paper towel. Uh, this is gonna be an electrode. We went super budget, picked up a uh, stainless fork at the dollar store. So again, minimum, this is uh, like Starbucks bathroom meth lab style, which I saw happen just the other day. This is the only little specialty thing. You're, uh, I, you know, you could probably get away with stainless, but we're gonna use titanium. So a little bit of titanium wire, just some different gauges. You know, you're probably a little thicker. I doubled mine up. Um, you can buy this online. You can go on, say, Amazon and get some titanium cable, maybe like a 20 gauge or something like that. But uh, you can also, I thought about this and I went to the local vape shop because you can make your own coils and just buy the wire. I don't vape, but I popped in there. She gave me a couple spools of this for uh, five bucks. First thing you wanna do is prepare your object, whatever you're doing, in this case, a fountain pen, maybe it's knife scales, maybe, I don't know, whatever it is you're working on. So uh, get it all down. If there's other components within it, you wanna take them out. In this case, we got some fountain pen bits. Uh, this one, there's also a, uh, a little piece at the top here. You wanna take the clip off, all that kind of stuff. If you have this pen and wanna know how to take this apart, stick to the end. I'll do a little quick video for those who have this exact pen, I can show you that. But anyway, so you wanna take it apart, get all the other bits off it. So you just got titanium and then uh, go degrease it. You wanna clean it so either like an acetone, maybe it's a Windex, something like that. I'm wearing gloves from here on out. I degrease the part and I don't, you know, obviously wanna get the oils and whatnot from my fingers onto it so they're all nice and shiny and clean. Let's get everything prepared. First thing we're gonna do, add in some baking soda. This is, I don't know, maybe uh, a tablespoon, something like that. Mix this up till it's fully dissolved. It's fully dissolved now with the uh, distilled water and baking soda. This is another tray with just distilled water that we can put the part in afterwards just to rinse it off. Now we're gonna prepare the electrode, which is just a fork. I'm just gonna bend it over so it's into the water and baking soda solution. And uh, the other side, the reason I chose a fork is just, uh, it's got some tines on it. I know I don't have my alligator clips so I can wrap the wire onto those. It's just gonna sit in like this, the fork on the other side, take a piece of wire. This will be our negative terminal. And uh, I'm just gonna wrap it around the fork here really quick. Then we have our other piece. So what I got over here, this is the uh, the titanium. So I just took a piece off the coil. I took a, a couple pieces, cut them off. Uh, we got, I don't know, maybe this is about a foot and a half, something like that, and just put it into the drill here to make a nice little coil. So it's a little easier to work with, a little more strength. So now it's just gonna be connecting our uh, our power supply. So we're just gonna, put all these batteries together, the positive to negative, negative to positive, so they're all in serial, which is gonna increase the voltage. The voltage will add. Now, there is another way to anodize titanium. You can use a blowtorch and flame and with heat, and that will do it. Um, you can get pretty quick results. Just the challenge there, you could your part can potentially distort, and that can mess things up. Also, it is much harder to control the finished product doing heat versus doing it electronically. So uh, there's, a, I'll put a link in the description as well, but there is a little table that will show you what voltage gets you what color. So if there's a certain color you have in mind, 
uh, you can just get the right number of batteries together. If you need 60 some odd volts, you can do the math and figure that out. If you have a little power supply, variable DC, if it goes up to 120 volts or so, that's the ticket. They're about a hundred bucks. So if you're serious about doing that, you can get one of those. This, again, this is the minimum way to do this. So just go to Dollarama there. I picked up a dozen batteries put them together so we can get up to, uh, there'll be some losses, but maybe a high 90, 100-ish volts, something like that. So a uh, moment of truth, we got the negative here, so we'll connect that into the whole pack. All right, and the positive is over here. We got our titanium wire, and I'm connecting it to, this is the clip of the pen. Now I've, uh, there's a chart there that shows the voltages and what color you get, as I mentioned. And I'm thinking I want to do the body in a nice deep rich gold and the clip in a bright green. So the green is way up near the 100 volt section. So uh, let's start off big. So here we go. If we dip it in, we should start to have some action going on. Look at those bubbles. Sloshy, sloshy. Okie dokie. Let's see how we're looking so far. Not too much. We're getting it on the titanium wire. Let's keep her going. Part of me is thinking, maybe the clip isn't titanium. Let's try another part of the pen. I'm gonna give this a go on the uh, cap here of the pen. Now, I want it to go with a gold look. So according to the voltage chart, we're looking at a low mid 50, possibly 60 volts. So I got too much action here in the battery pack. So I'm going to use about six batteries to start off with. So I'm just gonna disconnect some in the middle and uh, can finish the circuit, hook up the wire, and keep this thing in the water, see how it goes. Okay, let's hope we have a better result this time. Uh, now again, you could get a voltmeter, you know, multimeter on there and check it. I do have that, but I thought if you don't have that, we could just do a little math and see how it goes. Let's see what we're getting now. You can see it going on. You can see the color changing. I hope you can see that. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit here. We're going to get some purple color action going. See, that's pretty uh, pretty nice looking there. Let's put it back in, let it keep going a little bit. It's a really beautiful looking blue. It's all uniform. The cool thing is that coating goes on the inside as well. That's a bit of a blue steel. Actually, let's, uh, let's rinse it off here and have a look. Wow, that really, uh, really looks nice. So let's Let's continue on though. I want to see what uh, what we can get here. Okay, you can see some bubble action going. Yeah, I think I need a little more juice here. Okay, two more batteries on there. Let's see if we can continue the action. Going along more like a brassy color. Yep. Okay, I need some more juice. Okay, two more batteries on there. We can see some more bubbles again. So just looking at the chart again, we should get that light gold and then we're gonna go a little bit pink and you can see it's starting to happen, then it should go blue and then we should get the dark, darker sort of gold color we want. Thought I would just try a bit of a smaller part of the pen here and uh, just dip it a bit each time, maybe not go as hardcore so I don't tax those batteries as, <laughs> as much. But it seems like we're sort of getting to that same color. There we are going through that sort of straw gold color. It should start turning pink here soon. I'm curious if I can get past the pink. <laughs> there's, there's a joke in there somewhere, I know, I heard of that too. Now finally the main body of the pen, same process as well. Try not to over uh, do these batteries. Now again too, you could have a gradient. As you can see, I took it out and the whole thing hasn't been uh, dipped in. So you could do that a bit of a rainbow effect right across the piece. If you wanted to do something like that, that's kind of cool. I'm almost debating if I should two-tone this pen. Let's see here. That is a really nice blue. I think I should have stuck there, but uh, let's keep the whole thing uh, one color, let's say. Keep that gold, get that pink. 
get a bit of a gradient going on the pen. That might be a cool effect. There we go. Okay, so moving everything out of the way, let's put this together, see what we got now. So I got the parts. Of course, the uh, inner non-titanium bits are out of here. But this is how everything's laid out. The clip, uh, I guess I thought it was, it was titanium, but I guess not. So it's not uh, doing the anodize on there, but I think that will actually look good with the pen like that, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, so let's just put this together, give you an idea what we got now. I could easily just dip this back in if I don't like that and want to make the whole thing uniform, but we got a pretty cool color, cool looking pen now with a bit of a gradient to it. You can customize it, you can do whatever you want. So I thought I would just check for myself, just see what we got uh, across max here. What are we getting? Jeez, like 109. So I'm just wondering if this is uh, dropping quite a bit too much. You know, they just can't keep that output there and it dies off too quick. Um, or maybe I got to do something with the dielectric. Uh, we'll try that another time. I thought it'd be worthwhile just hooking up the uh, meter into the circuit here and just curious what that voltage drops down to. What's the maximum? Okay, we're getting into the 80s. So I'm surprised. Jeez, it's pulling right back up to low 90s. Um, I thought it maybe is it the wire but I'm not getting any heat off of it. Just want to try with this other part to see if we can get, see so we're getting into that blue color again and after that we should get the gold. Okay, so I beefed up the cable here. I braided a bunch more strands together. Let's see if we can get some action going. That looks a little bit better for sure. Nice looking blue, sort of purpley color. So you can see what we were dealing with before, the uh, pink and uh, sort of light straw gold color. Now we're getting up to a blue steel color. I'll just give it a little bit more and see how far I can go with this setup today. Okay, so I think that's all she wrote here. I'll try to get you some better lighting. We got blue on blue, but uh, it's a kind of a nice cool steel blue type color and I'll get the rest of the pen to that same spot. Okay, so how did we do after all of that? Uh, actually, what I think might have happened is I went too far. I think I actually went past the colors I wanted. I should have had the um, the meter hooked up while I was doing it and slowly added batteries to it, but also maybe had on a separate screen the, uh, the color band so I can keep a closer eye on it because it does change pretty quick and I think I actually overshot now that I'm looking at the uh, the different gradients here, this is like way higher in the scale, like a high 80 something volts um, to, to yield this color. And this is too, this is kind of past the gold. So the gold I had was the gold I was looking for, but I kept on going. Um, so I, I think I should have had the meter on there and crept up, added batteries slowly to hit the uh, target color. But oh well, that's okay because you can actually take this off and start all over again. There are some chemicals. There's one, it's a particular uh, rust remover. It is nasty stuff. It has hydrogen fluoride in it. That stuff is uh, is pretty much the worst you can be dealing with. So you can pick it up at the store. I think I might pick some of that up and take off the, uh, the oxide layer it'll etch it, give me a fresh start, and I can control the colors a little bit more. What went wrong? What went right? Well, uh, we did anodize it, so that went right. Controlling the voltage, uh, some issues with the wires having to be bigger gauge and stuff like that. So it's mostly just the, uh, with the main part, which was the electronics, should have uh, had tighter controls on that. But let's put the pen together so you can see the finished result and uh, see how this looks. So if you have one of these pens and you want to take the clip out in order to do this, I guess, you know, I could uh, go on a little further with color if I wanted to resort to flame, but either way, you want to take this out, especially if you're doing flame, there's a disc that's in there that you need to remove this first and then you can access the screw that's holding into in the clip. So let's show you what's down on the bottom. It's this little disc here. You can see some scratch marks I got on there. This is made of... Uh, 
Delrin, I believe. I'm like 90, well, 100%, pretty much 100% sure this is Delrin. It's a really good uh, thermoplastic, and it's also really good if you need to hold uh, good dimensions and have it be stable with those dimensions as well. You can machine these to be quite uh, pretty tight tolerances as well. So um, you can see on this part, it's really well made. They even have uh, a bore here to, to fit the screw in. So, you know, you press this down into the uh, cap there and look at that. Look how that just perfectly fits in there and it's on center everything. It also has, if we can get some lighting there, an O-ring here along the side. So this is the part that is up that you see. So if you look down the barrel down in there, uh, this disc will be in there. And so essentially what you have to do is get yourself a pick tool, something like this, and you shoot it down in there and you sort of catch it. And then you'll just rotate the pin and pull out at the same time. So the whole thing will be rotating. You've grabbed a hold of it and you're just pulling it out. You can't just pull it straight out, it won't work, but you gotta sort of rotate the body. So if you pick it, grab it, um, it is a plastic, so a pointy tip will grab on there. So you just essentially need to hook it and then just rotate it out as you pull it out. This disc now will, will come out the little Delrin disc here, and then you can access the screw. And this is even a custom made dealie. This is a uh, titanium screw as well that they made. <laughs> so good job. You know, they uh, the whole thing is titanium. It's kind of strange about the clip. I wonder if this has a coating or something, or it's just a different material, but you uh, slip the clip into the slot here, and you, get, you do have to kind of fill it around to, to fit the screw back in. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. You sort of balance it on your screwdriver. It's slotted. You need a kind of a wider screwdriver, and then uh, up you go and get it in there just right and wiggle around to, to tighten it in. So it's not magnetic, so typically you could put that on your screwdriver, get it magnetized, and hold it st uh, steady. Can't do it with this one, so you have to mess with that. Once it's in, then this is just a press fit. Just pop it in there, slide it home, and you're good to go. If you are uh, having trouble getting that screw in there, it keeps falling off, it's a bit tricky. I just put a little bit of candle wax on here. So I had a candle nearby, just put a little wax on there, fit the screw on, get it started, then you get it threaded, then you can finish it off. That's a little trick to uh, get that screw in. So the clip is back on, and I'm gonna do myself a favor is I'm just gonna put a dab of grease on that O-ring so it'll make my life easier when I go to slide this out again in the future. I could actually leave it off for a little bit because I am gonna try this again, but you can see the screw down there at the bottom and then you just simply slip it in and then, uh, yeah, just drive it down to the bottom. There you go, and it's in there. So, um, yeah, that worked out not too bad, I guess. Not the exact color I wanted but it looks pretty cool. So here's the finished product on the first attempt. I think it's, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not exactly what I wanted. Um, you know, I am gonna redo this. You know, you could see you got this big step down versus a gradient. I was hoping I could get the other parts close to this and then create the gradient, but uh, just ran out of juice. So uh, I'm gonna restart. Like I said, I think I went too far. I went too much, too quick. I was too excited to do the video. Uh, there's a tip at home. Don't record what you're doing so you can focus on what you're doing, but so not too bad for a first attempt, I guess. It's a nice consistent coloring throughout the pen, even though it's not exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, you know, like I said, I need to creep up on that voltage and monitor it a little bit more. And also I thought about this afterwards, uh, the wire that you're using as the electrode, it colors the same as well because it's titanium. So you can just dip the wire in and see what color that gets to and that will give you an idea of about where you're going to get to with the pen. So I uh, thought about that afterwards. I, my first attempt on the fly and making the video, you're bound to mess up a little bit, but I will do a follow-up video on how to strip this and uh, start over and give it another go. So that's kind of a cool thing you can do with a titanium pen like this or whatever object you're working on is you can turn it into whatever color you want. If you want a pink pen, gold pen, blue pen, whatever color, away you go. So there we go, thanks for watching. I would love to hear some comments, maybe some suggestions on what I could do differently. Let me know on the bottom there. But uh, all in all, not too shabby. Likes, comments, and especially subscribes are always welcome. Let's finish it off with a few close-ups of the pen. Thank mm -hmm. you.